Oh god, fight! Fight, fight! Welcome back to the Digital Universe. We are back on the Ark Survival Evolved Expansion Mac that is Aberration. I am super excited here to get into episode number two. On episode one, we began, we had a couple of struggles. We died quite a few times to some very new and very awesome dinos. I believe there are some even lurking around in this area. But we did manage to find a place to call home. We built ourselves a little starter base. As you can see, the resources are beginning to pile up. I've got plenty of extra resources. But anyway, let's jump right in with the episode. All right, uh, game, you wanna chill with the earthquakes maybe? I've been sitting here for approximately 16 hours waiting for you to stop so that I can get back to talking and no you don't want to stop okay i'm just gonna talk um all right guys so last episode we built the semi-pathetic base that you see in front of me i was kind of rushing a little bit at the end of that episode because i did not want it to go for super long i didn't want to have to split it into another two-parter like we did in our ragnarok series of arc and just to let you know guys uh, i'm gonna be posting aberration for a little while but don't think that ab that um Ragnarok, excuse me, is over. We are definitely going to be continuing that. We're just putting it on hold a little bit so that we can get a bunch of videos of Aberration out. Plus, I'm so, so, so excited to play this that I honestly can't think about doing anything else other than this. So, all right. So, um, off camera, I got a little... Which, which storage box was it? This one? Yes. Okay. So, off camera, I got us a ton of building materials here. Let's see. Can I carry all these? No, I can't. Of course I can't. Uh, okay. What do we want to throw out? Let's throw out ceilings. Okay. So, what we gotta do here is we gotta make this... We gotta revamp this base here. I just put a mortar and pestle there. We're probably gonna take that out. That was to get some narcotics. Um, what I was thinking is, on the Ragnarok map, we have... If you've seen that, we have a 3x3 three three house. I don't want to go with the same thing, so what I did is I got us... 16 foundations which is perfect the perfect amount for a 4x4 four four. so that's what we're going to be doing for this house we're going to be expanding and doing a little bit of furnishing but i promise you this is not going to be a full building episode i do want to get to some taming um and some looking at uh the new creatures that we have in this expansion pack so this will be a pretty quick building adventure sort of it's not really an adventure i don't know what you want me to call it leave me alone okay okay that that let's do another one here and here all right now we've got four wide we can't really move backwards right actually can we should we go all the way on the edge i don't know no nah, i don't think we will we have a ton of room up here guys an absolute ton of room it doesn't look like that much because you can't i'm not like on top of the house so you can't see it all but like i'm still running we still haven't reached the end and this is like the end i was planning on right here where we get to this groove which is so so much room to fit dinos and stuff and if we need to expand we could always move down because there's like another little hill sort of thing uh, or another step up or something uh so we've got plenty of room so i will just move forward we don't there's no re there's no need to be like hanging off the edge we're not um we're not pressed for space or anything so let's go ahead and place the rest of our foundations here let's do that one this one that one that one and bang there we go all right so we've got our four by four here I'm gonna have to take down these walls real quick. Uh, the inside walls, and then the... Are there any? Oh yeah, because we built on the edge. All right, let's just take them all down, actually. Um, I skipped one for some reason. There we go. And there we go. There we go. And uh, that one, and that's everything. Good, there we go, all right, everything fell down. Okay, uh, this mortar and pestle's gotta go just because it's bothering me. And I can't see even where the... Is that it? Stuff is flying for some reason. I can't see where the campfire is. Okay. We will we will get back to that. Let's throw down our walls now. We've got 31 walls, which is exactly what we need. Uh, okay, the campfire is actually on the end. I think I did that on purpose so that we can leave that. I'm not sure how we're going to be decorating the inside quite yet. But as long as it's on the end. The mortar and pestle is like in the middle. And I we just we couldn't have that, guys. But campfire is on the end, so not a big deal. Um, 
I will leave those two middle ones open for now because I'm not sure which one's gonna get the door. Usually I put the door on one. I'd love if there was like a double door thing. That would be great. I don't think there is. I think I've seen that on modded videos, but not on vanilla, unfortunately. So let's go ahead and finish our walls here. We are upgrading from a pathetic base to a non-pathetic base. So that is always good. All right. Do we want to go on the right or left? Usually I go on the right because I'm a righty. Maybe, maybe I'll make a double door anyway. Just because. Or maybe I should... Maybe I should make the door all the way on the right, have you walk in, and then maybe put, like, storage boxes on the right and storage boxes on the left. Yeah, let's let's try something like that. Let's... Oh, God. <laughs> it means that I have to destroy this, and I had the exact amount, so kill me. Um... Wait, let's see what happens. Can I destroy the one above? Wow. Nothing, nothing works out for me, guys. You, you already know that, but let me just reiterate that. Nothing works. Of course I need wood. Okay, whatever. We will get back to that. Let's just, oh wait, I think I actually have what I need. Um, I need what? Well, let's throw on our ramp. Like, that. I don't know why it was going the other way. Uh, let's throw on our doorway. Bang. Every good house needs a doorway. And... The door! Yes. I love this tiny little... See, I feel like I'm in third person. Like, I'm this giant human, like a primal giant. But th this door looks like a hobbit door, doesn't it? Like, you wouldn't think I could fit out of here. My, I feel like my head goes over it. I don't know. Whatever. Arc logic, you know? Um, I will go get that last wall in a second. I think I have the ceilings on me. No, those are the ones I threw back in the chest. So let's grab those. We will throw on our ceilings, and we will already have a nice functioning base in here. It was kind of difficult, guys, I'll be honest, to get the resources. There's not too much wood. I mean, th there's there's plenty of trees, but it's not like a super dense forest or anything. Plus, there is tons of dangerous stuff. We got the Karkinos over there. He wasn't really bothering us too much because he just sort of chills over there. He's a 140. So we're definitely going to be taming that guy at some point. Um... But there's Ravagers all over the forest, guys. I mean, literally everywhere. Uh, okay, so I've got the ceilings on me. Let's throw those on. I don't want to spend too much time, so if I've got, like, a rushed tone. That's why. I've got tons of things to do this episode, guys. Tons of fun stuff planned. So I don't want to waste it all on building like I seem to do on every, every arc video in the past. Okay, last one. There we go. And, of course, we have to have... One missing wall, because it wouldn't be a video of Ark on Digital Universe if we didn't have a complete fail in building. Or, in general. Um, okay. So, yeah, I think we will we'll throw down the chests and stuff. Some other... Actually, uh, no, we don't really have a... We don't really have a functioning base unless we throw down the chests. So let's just throw down a couple. We said we wanted to come in here, right? We'll go in the middle and then have chests on either side. So for right now, I will just put the chest on the right side, because we don't have too many. So let's just go to the end here, place down our chests, and then maybe we'll throw down our mortar and pestles as well. Uh, how do I place this? Okay, let's do this nice and quick here. Bang, bang, bang. I do I say bang when I'm building for some reason. Bang. Guys, if these are uneven, I'm burning this house to the ground, I assure you. Like, I will not hesitate in burning this to the ground. Okay, we're good. Uh, I will move all the stuff from those annoying little mini... Guys, these mini storage boxes have absolutely no storage. Like, I was... Look at this. I just have five randomly scattered. This is an OCD nightmare, okay? So if you're freaking out, I was freaking out too, all right? Calm down. Jeez. All right. Anyway, I am going to get us the stuff we need for the next segment of this episode here. I'm not going to tell you what we're doing yet. It is a bit of a surprise, so I will go grab that, and I will be right back. Are you feeling it now, Mr. Krabs? <sighs> All right, guys. Enough with the dumb jokes, I swear. And also, I was not enjoying the drugs a second ago. I realized that may have been what it sounded like. What just happened right there? Okay. Enough of the earthquakes as well. This is this is starting to tick me off here. Yeah, I don't know what just happened. I just, like, lunged back. All right, anyway, if you haven't guessed what we are doing yet, if you haven't looked at the hotbar and noticed something weird, I will finally reveal the secret 
the rest of this episode has to do with the coolest thing in Ark Survival that I have ever seen in my entire life. And maybe it's a blend between cool and cute. That is... It's gone. Alright. Um, that is... That is... These guys! The Bulldog. Guys, I've been seeing tons and tons of things about the Bulldog on YouTube. Everybody is taming these guys. And I said, why not? Of course there's a Parasaur here. I mean, it's like... It's like the game just loves to screw with me. As soon as I want to start talking, that's when the earthquakes happen. That's when the annoying footsteps of a Parasaur happen. Um, or a Parasaur, I mean. Uh, but yeah. I've seen tons of people taming these guys on YouTube. They are super cute. Super weird, very, very funny looking. And what we're going to do is something very, very interesting here, I think. I am going to be taming a bulldog arm. Oh my god. Okay, well, I will talk while I'm choking on whatever I choke on every time I, uh, get whatever, start hallucinating. Um, and pooping uncontrollably. I'm going to be taming a bulldog army, guys. I think it's going to be pretty sick. I'm going to go around now and tame as many of these guys as I can. We are going to do a digital logic, digital universe, patented speed taj real quick and see how many of these bulldogs we can get. Hopefully I do not get murdered by ravagers too many times. Uh, they are literally everywhere, but I will stay as safe as I can, do everything that I can to tame as many of these guys as possible. So let's go ahead and do it. Let us get an army of the cutest things in Ark Survival. Alright guys, there we go. We have got our first bulb dog. I don't really know what I'm going to be calling these guys. Wait a sec, let's, let's tell them to stop real quick. Oh my god, this is so cool. Um, so I don't know what the charge means. We're gonna have to be doing some experiments with that later on. Uh, it's going down. Is it bad if it hits zero? Whoa. Um, okay, yeah, so there's a ton of different auto-activated full charge. Okay, yeah, I've got no clue what's going on here. This guy is obviously very complicated. The whole charge concept seems pretty complicated to me, so we'll have to do some- oh, no way. Oh, yes. We will have to be doing some experiments with that later on. But for now, guys, I am going to go ahead and tame us up a bulldog army. I'll be back. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed the speed touch there. The result of the hard work is right behind me. Let's do an epic reveal. One, two. It's literally just little guys with their tongues sticking out. Okay, yeah. Uh, so anyway guys, I hope you did enjoy that speed touch. We did manage to get six of these bulb dogs uh, we do have a bit of an army now. I'd say this is like maybe a militia. I don't know. Does the six, the six little um, fish dog breeds thingies count as an army? Probably not. But I don't know. As far as armies go, 
I'd be pretty terrified if I met these. I mean, look at this guy. Look at him. Do you ever want to meet something like this? Like, like that in battle? No. Didn't think so. Okay. But anyway, guys, I'm not really sure what I'm going to do in terms of naming or leveling up. Uh, this was the stats of the highest guy right here. We had about 700 health. Charge capacity. That's pretty cool. I actually didn't even look at that. What does that say? Charge regen? Okay, very interesting. And then charge emission range. So I'll have to look into what all these do. I guess we'll we'll just up, uh, upgrade the charge for now, like all these things. Uh, where's the last one? Was that all of them? Yeah. Uh, and then maybe one movement speed because they're pretty slow. That's pretty cool, actually. They do like a little move when you do that. Um, so yeah, I guess I will go around and do that to all of them. Uh, usually, guys, if you watched the um, Ark Ragnarok Let's Play episodes, what we do when we tame is we have, like, let's say half the episode taming. It's usually not like this one wasn't exactly half, but let's just say it was half the episode taming, and then the rest of the episode would be leveling up. I have a really, really good idea of what to do for leveling these guys up, but I don't want to get into that just yet. I gotta build some suspense, alright guys? We gotta build some suspense. So what I want to do to build that suspense is we're going to take a little break from our epic bulldog army here, and we're going to do a teensy, teensy bit of uh, interior decorating into the husk that is our base so far, because that's basically what it is. It's just an empty husk. I mean, we've got some storage boxes, but not really too much. So we're going to do just a little bit of interior decorating, and then we'll move on to the main event, to the leveling up of our bulldogs. I'm not going to tell you how we're going to do that yet. It is a surprise. I think you guys are going to enjoy that a lot. But right now, let's do a little bit of decorating. All right, guys, I just grabbed us what we need in terms of building materials here. Uh, let's take a look at the outside. I actually had a quick little idea. And obviously, we're still only on episode number two, so we, we don't have much in terms of what we can build. We don't really have the resources needed to start moving into the metal uh, stage of the game, so we're going to have to plan accordingly. We're going to have to make sure... We leave room for the smithy, for all the refining forges, etc., etc., and possibly for even more base expansion as we build vaults and stuff. Uh, I'm sure later on in the Let's Play series we are going to get to that eventually. Um, so yeah, but I guess we could just um, work with what we have so far. So let's see. Just wanted to do... Will that destroy the rat? No. Okay, that's actually fine. Uh, Actually, no, that's kind of annoying. Can we take that out? No, please tell me we can take it out. No, please. <gasps> Wait, I saw it? Yes. Door frame. No, that's not what I want. All right, whatever. I'll take it out. Um, actually, actually, I think I've got enough wood. Yeah, let's let's just break this. I don't want to. I don't want to build more on there and then have to do that. Can I please get the ramp? Thank you. Yes. Okay. All right. So let's do that. Let's build another foundation. Here we go. Okay, let's throw down our foundation. Where are the ramps? We got a couple of ramps. So I was thinking maybe we do some of that, and then did I build any fences? Let's get two of those. There we go. And then we could do some of this. We've got like ourselves a little porch now. We can do that and that. Nice. All right. Look at that. It's already looking more like a home. Okay. We're definitely gonna have to build something on top, too, so it's not just an empty thing, but we'll figure that out later. Uh, let's see. What else do we got? Okay, we got some more storage bins, and we've got some mortar and pestles. So, just to give you guys an idea, I think I mentioned it real quick earlier when I put down the storage boxes. What I'm thinking is, uh, I don't know if you heard, like, my ramblings, or if you could understand them, I mean, but... What I said before is that we would do storage boxes on this side, storage boxes on this side lining the wall, and then the middle would be like almost our workshop area, so we could put smithies and maybe refining forges on this wall over here, and then the smithy here. That way we can go back and forth from all these chests and then back into the smithy. Uh, and then what else do we need to craft? Well, we need all the, um, all the big machinery, like the fabricator and stuff. That could either go here because we will probably have some extra room, and if not, we could probably do it upstairs. So if we end up making it upstairs, which I'm sure we will eventually. Uh, so yeah, let's throw down these storage bins real quick. All right, these earthquakes are so annoying. I'm being honest with you. And it's it's like jerking me to the left. All right, please. Please. <laughs> oh, God. Okay. 
I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm telling you, it is the curse of aberration. I do not know why. Every time I get on the mic preparing to do something, boom, the earthquakes hit. Whatever, let's, uh, let's throw down these boxes like we said. Uh, that's good. And then that's one. There we go. I don't want to be too picky, but I also want them to be somewhat evenly spread out. Okay, that's good. That one's good. Right there. And let's place our last one. We're going to have one more on this side, but it's fine. Let's place that. There we go. All right. So we got eight on this side, and we got seven on this side. So like I said, we'll have the chest on either side. We can throw down the smithy here when we manage to get one. And then I'm thinking the refining forges will line this wall here, which will leave what space will be left open. Well, this right here will be left open, and probably this corner. I think we're going to leave this corner open. Maybe we'll push the refining forges into the corner so that we have space when we walk in. And then we will put the mortar and pestles right here lining this wall. So let's throw those down real quick for all our narcotic creation. I'm creating this because there's not enough drugs already in this Let's Play. I'm now creating a drug station. All right. See, this is already looking nicer. I mean, for some reason, if you just put a little bit of stuff, it looks so much nicer. I also made us some... Where are they? Uh, Did I not make them? I only learned them. Standing torches? Oh, we need some stone. Okay, wait. I have like trillions and trillions of stone from when I was clearing this area out. Look at this. Can I, can I access? Yes, give me. All right. Uh, I don't know how many we're gonna make. Okay, oh, we can make a ton. Oh, geez, all right, four's enough for sure. Uh, usually I just like to put a couple on the outside and maybe a couple on the inside too. It just gives it that warmer house feeling. Uh, and don't worry guys, we will be done in just a second and we can jump into the level gathering for our bold dogs. I know you guys are waiting for that. I am waiting for it as well. Um, do you want to throw one here? Yeah, let's put one. Let's put one there, and we can put one, one more in the corner right here. Perfect. And then outside, we can put one maybe at the corner of our house, and we'll do one at the other corner in the front. Okay, one sec. Let's let this craft. Of course, I'm one short. Right. What do you... What What's going on right now? It crafted and put it in the inventory for some reason. Okay. Uh, right there. Okay. I think that's good, right? I will fill those with thatch, and we will have those up and running for when it gets dark. Uh, right now, though, I think that is... I think that's everything I got in my inventory, right? In terms of decorating? Yeah. All right. So that's going to be it. Um, off camera, I will move the stuff from the other chests now. The event you guys have all been waiting for. We are going to level these suckers up. So this might take me a little while. I've got something cool planned. As I said, I will be back when it is all ready. Okay, guys, I've brought my bulb dogs inside here. I know you might be wondering, uh, hello, why would you bring them inside to level them up? Well... This took a ridiculously long time, but I will finally reveal to you what I have been waiting for, what you have been waiting for as well this entire time, how we are going to level up these bulb dogs right here. That is it. I went out and I tamed 10 dodos. You would not, you would not believe how hard it is to find dodos as soon as you need to find dodos, but when you don't need to find dodos, they're everywhere. Okay? Well, whatever. I did it for you. Okay? We did it for them. Alright? So what I'm gonna do here, guys, is I am going to... What's it called again? Um... Options... I'm going to unclaim. So I'm gonna unclaim all of the dodos, and then we're gonna have an awesome cinematic experience. I'm gonna put all of these bulb dogs on aggressive, and they're going to go take on the dodos here. They've got double the numbers... Yes, I know they don't fight back. They've got double the numbers, so we'll see who wins this amazing battle here, guys. I hope you enjoy, and I will see you when we have finished. The home team. The challengers. Three, two, one, and fight. Guys, I said fight. 
Am I gonna... Hello? Remember when I said fight? Oh god, fight! Fight, fight! Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I've literally got, my, my entire floor is littered with the bodies of the dodos that I just spent way too long taming. Surprisingly, the bulldogs were completely, the bulb dogs, I'm sorry. The bulb dogs were completely <clears throat> ferocious. I mean, as soon as I did whistle attack target, they all just charged in and started slaying out the dodos. So pretty epic there. I am super happy with our bulb dog army. Honestly, these guys are so cute and scary at the same time. Like, it's like a weird... Like, they're a mix between fish and dogs. They are also a mix between cute and extremely scary and menacing. But anyway, guys, that is going to be it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed the bulldog taming. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you next time on Digital Universe.